What's up, dudes and dudettes? It's me, Triple B Seven Hundred Eighty. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on a movie from 2014 that I am neutral with. It's an anime movie that came out in theaters on January Seventeenth, Two Thousand Fourteen. Let me think. I think it's an okay movie of all time, in my opinion. Besides Freebirds. This one is by this one is by Open Road, Open Road Films. <clears throat> it's also based on a short film from 2005 called Surly Squirrel. And that would be The Nut Job. So yeah, um the plot of the movie is basically is based is basically where it gets Surly who Who lives in the park and he needs to and he wants to and he goes out in town he wants to find and he finds this and yeah and along the way he finds this <clears throat> he finds this he finds he he found he found this and he finds this poster like why while he was walking he just saw he saw a picture of the nuts of, of like acorns and nuts and he decided to team up with a rat named Buddy and they both teamed up <clears throat> to find to get the nuts to break into the nut shop and get and get the nuts before it's too late, you know and stuff like that. They all, yeah, they meet new friends and they go on adventures. And, and stuff like that. And then... Now, if you have not seen the movie, I don't really want to spoil it to you, okay? I'm not gonna... T I'm not... So, yeah. <clears throat> they also... There, there, were, there are some action-packed stuff in it. But yeah, and and they all and and they all and they and they're trying they try their best to and now they they have to stop the burglars, you know. And yeah. And stuff like that. So yeah, that's basically the plot of the movie, of the movie. And at the, <clears throat> and at the end, they do a dance with the anime version of Psy called the Ganem style. I really like that part at the end. What do I think of the nut job? I thought I thought the movie was okay. Well, the plot was okay. The characters, their characters are just cool. The jokes are okay, and the uh, everything else. I find it to be cool. Well, here's the thing. People have been saying it's a rip off to, to over the hedge. Well, it's not. It's actually not, since it's based on Sir, based on the uh, on a short film called Surly Squirrel. But the plot is sim but the plot is almost similar, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy Over the Hedge even more, to be honest. You know, a movie from two thousand six. Yeah. Let let's, yeah, let's. All right, let's continue. Yeah, when I saw the Nut Job in theaters, <clears throat> I was gonna. I mean, to be honest, it was freaking crowded. Yeah, it was like a crowd full of people wa watching it, and <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, I did enjoy the movie, but to, but there's one problem in the theater. There there were there were like too many people. There were too many the crowd. There were too many people in the theater, and that type of audience to me. When I got crowded, it made me feel uncomfortable. Not the movie, but 
Mm -hmm. And when the movie, when the theater got crowded, so my mom and I left because of, because it was too crowded. No, it did not. It's not because the movie sucked, in my opinion. It's just, yeah. <clears throat> but the so yeah. Oh well. It almost ruined my my movie night, my Friday movie night. But care who cares? But oh well. But I did. I and, the, and I watched it again. But however, I watched it again. <clears throat> but I, I I watched the full movie on Netflix to get my actual personal opinion on, opinion on it. And wow, just what? Uh, and to be honest, I I, I kind of I actually kind of like that movie. The movie was okay, to be honest. It's not the best movie. It wasn't the best movie. Of all time, it's not the best of the best, to be honest. But yeah, <clears throat> I never hate. I never had any issues with the nut job, to be honest. But yeah, and well, yeah, I I know a lot of you guys out there hate the nut job, but to be honest, I totally disagree. So if you hate it, that that's fine. You, I respect your opinion, but. I do know some people out there who are neutral with a nut job. I know that Mr. Crazy is okay with a nut job, and I know that Sam Samuel Best is okay with a nut job. Yeah, yeah. I know one of Mr. Crazy's friends named Evan online here. I know he's okay with the movie, so yeah. I got to admit, I agree with those people. The nut job was an okay film. It was not too bad. It was not showing me bad, in my opinion. But it was not a piece of crap. I, in my opinion, it was almost this close to be good, to be honest. <clears throat> like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, they are going to make... They're going to make a sequel... Called the Nut Job Two: Nudity by Nature, so I I cannot wait for that. If you're not excited for it, that's fine. Your opinion is respected. So yeah, yeah. I don't think that the Nut Job is disgraceful to me. So yeah. Oh yeah, and another reason why I don't hate the Nut Job is is because I do not agree with the critics all the time. It was very disappointing that it was a critical failure. I did not expect it to become bad because I I I I never I never hated the Nut Job at all, and I never will. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna give this movie. I'm so yeah. Well, for the Notch Up Two, it got delayed. It got delayed a lot. It was going to be released in 2000 in 2016, but it, but it, but it changed dates too too many times. It pushed back to early 2015. Now it's coming. And now it's pushed back to August 2015, and now it's pushed to mid August. So yeah. If you if you are ex if you're not so yeah, <clears throat> like I said, if you hate the not job, then that's fine. I respect your opinion as long as you respect mine. So yeah, what would I rate? What would I rate the not job? Oh yeah, I'm gonna give the not job six out of ten stars. Yeah, six out of ten because it was okay to be honest. I don't think it was the worst of the worst. Yeah, I, I don't think it was the worst or the worst movies. I mean, the worst of the worst movies of all time or whatever, in my opinion. But I I do find some movies from 2014 to be bad I, that I don't like. And they were had a lot of negativity in it. Like, for The Nut Job, there, there was almost a lot of negativity, but <clears throat> not that much. But but it did not have, have all, all of it. Just, it had... Almost a lot, but no, but 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 I don't think it was a big deal. It's just a movie, to be honest. But I do hate movies that are, that are pretty bad from 2014, like The Muppets Most Wanted. I really hate that movie so much. Uh, what else? Into the Storm. I watched that movie in theaters once, and I thought it was all. I thought it was awful. I I thought I thought it was eh. Sophia Grace and Rosie's Royal Adventures. Th that one's too girly. And Annabelle. 
Oh my god, I am so not going to see- I'm not going to watch that movie. It looks ter- it looks horrifying, and I- I'm not a huge fan of horror movies, to be honest. I only like a few, but not- not this one. I'm not going to see Annabelle Recreation either. I- I would pref- I would- I would rather watch The Nut Job 2 more than Annabelle Recreation coming up. <clears throat> so yeah. That's all for now, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and that's all for now. This is Triple B seven hundred eighty. Sign off. Oh yeah, and also, I thought Will Arnett does a really good job voicing Surly Squirrel because because he he also voiced the Lego Lego the Lego version of Batman in the in the Lego movies. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's all for now. This is Triple B seven hundred eighty. Sign off. Peace.